Hi my little cupcakes, it's Mio and today I'm going to show you how to make this berry parfait. This parfait was actually created from a felting kit I bought off of Etsy earlier this summer. It's taken me a while but I finally put it together and this is what my final product looks like. As you can see, it's a very intricate project and actually took me a really long time to make. So no joke, this is probably not the easiest craft for those beginners, but it's definitely a lot of fun and I feel like the final product is worth it. And as always, for more videos like these, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. This kit is imported from Japan and I want to thank Nobu who's the owner of Japan Lovely Craft who special ordered this kit for me a few months ago and while there are many sites that sell this kit, she offered it at the most affordable pricing. I'll provide her info in the down bar so you can check her store out. I'm going to start off by making the cup bottom portion first so I'm taking the white felt and I'm lining it with this nice little ribbon red felt on the very bottom. I'm just using crafting glue to hold everything together but to actually hold the rest of the cup together I hand sewed everything. You just want to make sure you spend a lot of time and care to make all of your stitches nice and even. You don't want some to be larger than others otherwise the project won't look as nice. I sewed on the bottom and the top and before I close everything together I put some little stuffing that also came in the kit box inside before I sealed everything together. You should end up with a really nice plushy pillow. So you have some felting wool inside this kit, some red and white felting wool and this is going to go along the sides of the cup. I teased the colors, swirled them around and I used a felting needle actually to tack them down so they stay in place. It's not going to look perfect, however the moment you place this inside your cup, it looks so much better. If you have some felting wool that's poking up on the very top, you can use your felting needle to help push some of it down. Moving on to the toppings, I'm going to start by making the strawberries. I'm going to make this particular one first. Your kit should come with a red semicircle and some gold beads. You're going to sew each of your beads on evenly spaced all over your semicircle. This is supposed to mimic the look of the strawberry seeds. Once this step is complete, you're going to fold it in half and you're going to sew the top part together using a sewing needle. After you sew the sides together, you should end up with a nice little cone shape. With your sewing needle, you're going to sew stitches in and out along the bottom of the strawberry all across the perimeter. You want to be as close as the edge as possible. That way when you tug on the string, it will form these nice little ripples that looks more like a strawberry. Add some stuffing in, close it up, and your strawberry is all done. My favorite topping in this kit is the strawberry slice. You're going to take the pink felt and with some red felting wool, you're going to gently spread it near the center of your strawberry. You should also have some white felt centers in your kit and this goes along the center of your strawberry. And with the sewing needle, I'm just forming little lines going up outside into the strawberry so it looks just like the strawberry design. There should be an extra strawberry felt cut out and you're going to glue these two pieces with some craft glue together and this will make your strawberry slice a little bit thicker. And to complete your strawberry, you just have to line it with a nice red felt rim. I'm just using craft glue to hold everything together. The last strawberry design in this kit is a strawberry cut in half and you should have a baby pink strawberry cut out and I stained the center with some light pink makeup to make it look more three dimensional and I'm using the exact same technique that I used on the strawberry slice. I just put a white center and so little white lines going out into the edges. Your kit should have this little triangle shaped red felt and this is going to be the back of your strawberry. Along the bottom I'm just sewing in and out so that when you pull it, it forms this nice little ripple effect. Just position the strawberry design that you had earlier along the very top and you're going to sew all along the edge of your strawberry to keep it closed. Again, make sure you make each of your stitches nice and even so your strawberry looks really nice in the end. Stuff the inside with some stuffing and your three strawberries are all done. Moving on to the ice cream scoops, you're going to take the little foam ball you have inside and your felting wool and you're going to color the foam ball with the felting wool. Your kit also comes with a felting needle and all you have to do is poke little small holes into the felting wool and this will tack it onto your foam ball. 
The more time you spend needle felting, you will notice that the felting will really take shape of the actual foam. So be sure you take some extra time to do this step. For the green garnish, you should take your little green leaf cut out, fold it in half, and take your scissors and cut little triangles all along the edge. When you fold the bottom of the leaf, it should look very realistic. The waffle cone is easy enough. All you have to do is take the pattern design and just fold one edge on top of the other and hold it down. The whipped cream design in the kit is so cool. All you have to do is take out the little cutouts and you're going to pile them in six layers on top of each other and glue the edges down. You can sew them if you want, but I think gluing them makes them look better. You do the exact same thing for the larger cream, but as you can see, I sewed the larger cream just so that you know you can actually do it a different way. And when you open it up, you have this three-dimensional whipped cream. The raspberry is by far the hardest piece, I think, to make in this kit. You're going to take your raspberry colored felt and you're going to sew along the perimeter like you did in all your other projects. Take the stuffing, fill it inside, and you're going to form a nice little ball. Now with your sewing needle, you're going to stick the needle in the bottom, coming out of the top, and you're going to go from the top and go back into the bottom again, and this will form a little donut if you tug on the string. Now take your sewing needle and go at the very top of the raspberry, and pointing downwards, you're going to stick it through the center of the bottom of your raspberry. You're going to repeat this process six times and you will notice that there will be a sewing string on the top of your raspberry and when you pull it down, it forms a nice little ripple along the edge. Once you've completed this step, you should have what looks like a little pumpkin. Now you're going to take your sewing needle and you're going to do the same thing except you're going to go the opposite direction. Each part where you have a little sewing string, you're going to take your needle and go underneath it and when you pull, it's going to crisscross against your first thread and it's going to form a nice little raspberry shaped design along the edge. Now I did one ring on the top and I did a second ring underneath it so that there should be two rings on your raspberry. And the blueberry is very similar to the strawberry. All you have to do is make a nice little ball. The last piece you have left is the pocky stick. You should have a nice little skewer in your kit and I cut it to the size of my pocky stick. I'm going to position the felt around the stick and you're just going to sew little stitches along the edge. Alright, so here is everything that I've made so far. I made some strawberries, the leaves, blueberries, some cream, the ice cream scoops, raspberry, there should be a bead, and your little waffle cone and pocky. Before I start gluing everything on, I like to position it first to see what it looks like. And to stick everything together, I'm actually using a hot glue gun. You can sew everything on top, but I think it's just easier to use a hot glue gun for this project. I personally positioned everything to look just like the box, but you of course can reposition everything to however you want it to be. And the nice thing about this kit is even if you didn't purchase this kit, you now know how to make different items that will go nice for any future projects that you'd like to create. I know this was a really long video, but I hope you learned a lot and I hope you enjoyed watching it. For more videos like these, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. My username on Instagram is FlyingNeo. You can check me out there and get a peek look at to all the other projects that I'm involved in. If you would like to purchase this kit, I will provide a link below to Nobu, who is the Etsy seller who sold this to me. And good luck everyone, I hope you enjoyed your summer and you enjoyed this tutorial. Bye!